Till comedian and actor Eddie Izzard ran 27 marathons in 27 days to raise money for sport relief, running, jumping, climbing trees, putting on makeup. He also did it without having trained for it. No idea how he managed to pull it off. I jogged for 10 minutes on Wednesday and my legs still hurt today. He's continued to do it, as well. Absolute legend. I really enjoyed his show, The Riches. It's a shame it was never completed, two seasons then the writer's strike hit, and it was no more, has he got a flag? Sparkling heart. Jeezy Creasy. I actually spoke to Eddie about this once. I was interviewing him for a small article and when I asked if it was difficult he gave me this incredible answer. Not verbatim, when you come out as a transvestite in 90s England, the stress, pressure and fear makes 27 marathon seem like a walk in the park. Incredible man. Just like to point out that he ran 27 marathons in 27 days for sports relief in 2016. Before that in 2009 he ran 43 marathons in 51 days, also for sport relief. Eddie is great all around, check him out in Hannibal, Netflix just got the series. My dad caught up with him when he was jogging by Victor Verster prison, the prison where Nelson Mandela was released. Said he was nice but very focused and didn't stop running. The crew even got my dad to say a few things to the camera. Edit. I found my dad in the video, he's there at 350, https colon slash slash you do, b slash cooked before c. My mum was rushing to a meeting across London a few years ago and sat down next to him on the tube without realizing it was him. He was cross-dressing that day and could easily be mistaken for someone else, he leaned over to my mum and said he would kill for her legs. She still tells the story years later at every opportunity she gets. He also does his stand-up routine in four different languages. A pretty remarkable guy all told. He wrote a great autobiography called Believe Me, a memoir of love, death, and jazz chickens. It gave me my first insight into people who are gender fluid. He also grew up very poor, which I had no trouble identifying with. He basically ran seven hours a day, every day. I guess you get used to it. He did say it got pretty boring because he couldn't listen to music because he had to keep aware of heavy traffic. I see he did, indeed, have a flag. I didn't think I could love Eddie Izzard more than I already did. He did a Joe Rogan interview where he talked about this. He didn't train for it, missed a day because of blisters and going to hospital and had to do a double marathon on the last day. Remarkable guy. I saw him last year in concert, very funny. 10 tenths would recommend. And he probably did it in heels. I also heard he's the Chesapeake Ripper. He's got what should have been called La Vitesse but instead it was call speed. Athletic executive transvestite. A couple of years ago my wife and I were having lunch in a little bistro in Pimlico, London. Eddie stopped in while he was out running, he lives nearby, and chatted to the staff for a few minutes. He was wearing a pink beret and pink leggings, amongst other things, with red nail varnish, looked fabulous. He'll have the penne a la Arabiata afterwards. Hope he becomes the prime minister one day soon. He's the man. When he wants to be. All love seriously though. Action transvestite. He was a very driven boy scout, driven everywhere, he was. He could be the saint of running around and jumping and stuff. Probably can't hurt to mention that he was 50 when he did this. Maybe 49 but still. I can't even fathom that kind of motivation. Orders of magnitude beyond what I have. Cake or death. Also, jam. I live in South Africa and didn't even know about this. I really love his stand up and this just makes me appreciate him even more. R slash unexpected desert, multiple times. He did it this year and two years ago he did something similar. His legs then fell off. Should also note that he did it with close to no prior training. I genuinely still think about this regularly. I watched the documentary at the time and was in absolute awe. I'll never forget the scene at the start where he goes to a doctor's for a general health exam, 
explains his plan, explains how little training he's done and when the challenge was due to start, and the doctor looks at the camera and crew and asks if it's a joke. I recently started doing the Couch to 5K program for the millionth time, I struggle with the 25-minute runs. I constantly think about Eddie running 26 miles consecutively and it blows me away. Didn't he go on to do the same again, but more? Strongly recommend his autobiography. He discusses this. Really wonderful guy. Title doesn't mention it but he ran them while covered in bees. His knees must hate him. Edit, I thought he was running them, but then read the article, he ran and walked. I'm happy if I can manage one marathon. And boy are my arms tired. I'd honestly struggle to do one marathon in 27 days. In high heels to no less grinning face with big eyes. I can't even get round to the gym. Was he running from bees? I first got introduced to Eddie Izzard on an archaeological dig for Cadbury Fortress in England, rumored to be the historical basis for Camelot, so a pretty cool place, though it was sadly lacking in flags. We needed something to listen to as our hands were busy cleaning bones. Best choice in my life. It opened up a while new door of humor. He's a freaking legend. Eddie's mental toughness is unbelievable. I hope they offered him some cake. Dude is a good actor and an amazing stand-up. He is a living legend. Insanity. He also did a cool documentary about similarities between Old English and Frisian. Guy bought a cow speaking a dead language. That's almost one per day. If anyone hasn't seen the documentary of this bloody watch it. It's glorious and should be seen by all. Damn, that is impressive. WTF. That's incredible. I love Eddie Izzard. Tea and cake or death? From the headline, looks like Eddie chose death. The BBC3 program about the him running the marathons is excellent. Well worth watching. I didn't realize he'd got so fit. Go Eddie. One of my favorite comedians. What the actual fuck is Eddie Izzard to pull something like that? Just one marathon will make you sore for like a week at least. I can't imagine a month full of that what a badass, bro. And here I am, totally exhausted from just reading this article. That's Jeff Vader that is. Oh if, I could feel that sentence in my MCL. One man who can empathize is Rory Coleman, who ran 28 marathons in 28 days in 2013 and 43 ultra marathons, double marathons, in 43 days in 2004. Altogether the 54-year-old has done 971 marathons. Holy shit. Why is the till not about that man? Wasn't it also in 27 different countries? Did we bury the most impressive part here? This post is very timely. I'm re-watching Hannibal and I'm watching the episode where we are introduced to Dr. Gideon. He played him well. I'm relieved the thumbnail has him carrying a flag. He's got strong opinions on those. The skin on his feet fell off. I love Eddie. As a comedian, and just as a person. Would love to hang out with him for a day and have a cool conversations. I'm just re-watching Hannibal, the show, on Netflix and his role is, as expected, fantastic. This guy has been around for so long and he always amazes. In 27 days, Eddie Izzard ran or walked 707. 4 miles, 1,138 kilometers, around South Africa, often in extreme heat, at the age of 54. On the last day, because of earlier disruption, he did a double marathon to ensure he reached his target. The comedian's exertions for sport relief have raised more than 1 pound, 35 m. If you haven't already, Check out Eddie's JRE episode. It's incredible. I love Eddie Izzard man, Joe Rogan. I fucking love Eddie. So wholesome. And it's a little known fact that on the 28th day he had surgery to replace his cartilage. Bert cries Cher could do this. The pictures of his feet are brutal. Fun fact, a couple of months before he did this, I was waiting for a friend in Holborn in London and was smoking a fag in the street. 
a short stocky man with a beard looking suspiciously like Eddie Izzard ran by. I stood mouth agape and thought, nah, Eddie's not a jogger, how wrong I was.